Hello, I am very excited because this video represents the upgrade of my retopologizing tool. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm very partial to Next Deraster plugin for Maya. And prior to this, I've used the plugin for 8.5. So before I'd have to bounce from 8.5, do the retopologizing, and throw it, you know, back in uh, 2012 to render or whatever. And I don't have to do that anymore. So <laughs> this is this. It's very nice. And I'll be showing sort of the differences between um, these two plugins. And it's worth noting right now that I have this um, piece of geometry right here. I have it on a layer, and I turn that on reference so that I can't select it. It's not interfering with the retopologizing progress. Um, it, it's I prefer it that way. So uh, I'm going to load up the plugin uh, next raster and here it is and I will just make sure that it is snapping to the piece of geometry that I want it to and that is the helmet here so I'm just going to select that and right under here we have some mesh editing tools very very good mesh editing tools and the one that I am most partial to you will guess is Quadra so I'll click that and as you can see I am in it says I am in Quadra and if you look <laughs> to the uh, bottom left next says that I'm awesome so I guess that's good I've never been I'm not I don't really like that word awesome I, I feel like it's way overused you know like it totally is everyone knows it too it's like such a meaningless word you can say anything's awesome everyone will nod their heads in agreement it seems like but um uh, whatever i'll accept that <laughs> you're awesome <laughs> that is so stupid oh well but look at this this i'm very excited about this this is nice this nice wireframe look at this they've added this um and to me what this means is i no longer have to um apply a special shader to this piece with um, special transparency uh, properties or uh, any sort of color that's different than gray that stands out. No, th this just stands out. It's very clear as to what I'm doing. It's a nice thick wireframe that lays right over it. Uh, I'm, I think that's great actually. It, lo it looks great. So a huge improvement there. And uh, honestly, it's 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 behaving much better than the um, the last version that I used. Uh, I think this is one point six or something like that. I'm not sure what the the older one that I used was, but uh, it's a it's a huge improvement. So uh, I'm quite happy about that. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, with the designing progress of this process of this uh, it was like I don't know it sort of sort of took me out of reality for a little bit I was like thinking of like <laughs> what sort of an asset would I be if I was alive during the medieval times and you know one thing came to mind um, well I'm a sculptor wouldn't that mean I'd end up as a, a blacksmith or something like that. But, yeah, probably. <laughs> of course, I'd probably be too worried that, uh, well, I'd get killed or beheaded for taking too long on a piece of armor, you know? What, what would they have, like, some war coming or something like that? Some horrible peril war? And uh, I'm still chipping away at this uh, this dragon helmet that some knight requested. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's not done yet. That would be fun. Try to explain that to them. 
No, but um, I mean, th this this plugin is great. Uh, right away, you know, I, I mean, the whole topology process obviously is to um, redirect polyflow and um, sort of optimize optimize well polyflow, you know, get it to going according to the lines that you've created, the design. And, uh, you know, it's sort of liberating, actually, because not only is it, you know, that idea pops into my head, but it's also, like, design, new design ideas uh, come into mind. And I'm not, I don't feel relegated to this, um, well, this mesh that I've created or anything like that. In fact, I feel, like, liberated and... Um, it seems like there's new design possibilities that, that come about uh, when I've retopologized. So it's just another great reason why uh, you should be retopologizing re your best models, and um, it's no exception, really. So, in, uh, in terms of design choices, you know, I was talking about not being relegated to this design, and I mean, there's. There's the question, um, you know, do I cut out this piece right here? If you can see where my mouse is dragging, this triangular piece, uh, it covers up the nose, the mouth, uh, somewhat of the eyes. You know, what if that were optional and I could, you know, maybe he can take that part off or something like that, you know, to get some fresh air. Um, you know, you'd be able to see more of the character. And I do plan on um, creating a character underneath this uh of this this helmet uh, a body perhaps we'll see where it goes it could it could be very good uh, if i finish it maybe a full body armor suit i don't know but um i think having that option would be very um uh, very interesting it definitely piques my interest to uh, make that sort of something I could hide, a piece of object I could hide or remove or something like that so I could see more of his face. Um, yeah, so so that's definitely, I want to keep that an option, um, and I'm thinking about that while I'm retopologizing, so I'm not going to hit this piece right now, but I do think this is a very interesting piece of the mask. If you look at it from the profile, it has a very nice sharp edge to it, and it, um, uh, it has... It has a nice silhouette, you know, and it, it sort of does describe uh, what I would think of if I were talking about a, dr a Japanese dragon or something. It has, you know, the, sort of the uh, flared nostrils, which is, which is very cool, and they, these uh, two pieces that spike off here very much remind me of a dragon, so I guess that, that's why I named it uh, a dragon helmet. So... So I'm going to keep those options open, uh, definitely. Uh, okay, so it is having some sort of... There, there's always going to be some sort of technical um, bugs in this this program, I think. But it is a... Uh, is it, okay, come on. It's a huge improvement from uh, what I used to be dealing with, I think. Plus it, plus it is in the, um, well, it also works for Maya 2013, so if I ever do upgrade to that, I will be using that in, well, this plugin in that. <laughs> uh, that's great commentary. I will be using that, that plugin into that. That's great. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to finish this, um, this... The whole topology. I'll probably save it or something, and then just upload it into a, a time lapse or something like that. Because I mean, I kind of want to entertain people. I don't want to just bore them to. What is going on? I don't want to bore them to no end with them. Um... Come on. Okay, what the hell? That is so retarded. There we go. Jesus. That was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, I don't want to bore them to no end with um, technical difficulties trying to connect points, obviously. Jesus Christ. Well, it seems like this program is going to have some bugs. We, we can all agree on that. Um, whether you're a fan or not, if you can see that there are some snapping issues, which all, I mean, I've never really retopologized a, a hard surface model before, so I guess I have nothing to uh, compare it to. Why is it snapping to that? That is not what I want. Look at that. No. Don't. Okay, well. I'm going to save this, and I will upload the rest um, probably tomorrow, and it'll be time lapsed, so it'll be probably more interesting to watch. But I wanted to do this tech demo just to uh, demonstrate the uh, well, the improvements and uh, the differences between uh, the, you know the older program and uh, this one. So yeah. There we go. So, you know, as always, um, as always, I hope you've 